In 1958, Australia's car industry was just warming up, and as a need for efficient bulk vehicle transport arose, V-Line's motor rail was born. Largely driven by manufacturing at Ford's Broadmeadows plant and the General Motors plant in Dandenong South, a trial was undertaken, with motor rail finally given the green light some two years later. In 1960, the roll-on, roll-off capability was added, which increased the loading and unloading efficiency. The class eventually expanded to 22 units built across various batches at the Newport and Bendigo workshops through until the 1970s. Motor Rail's primary role was to transport finished motor vehicles from Melbourne to Sydney and Adelaide. This service ran successfully for around three decades until demand started to dwindle in the 90s and the units were put into storage. There was a time in the 70s though which saw motor rail wagons assigned to the Vinelander from Melbourne to Mildura with additional wagons used on the Southern Aurora between Melbourne and Sydney and the Overland between Melbourne and Adelaide. This allowed passengers to bring their car along, however also ceased operating in the early 90s. The wagons shown in the video here are preserved by Steam Rail Victoria and are a great example of history in action. You'll even notice the wagons, either KW or KF, used to transport various car parts. Although something we're unlikely to see again, V-Line's motor rail certainly is a valuable part of our transport history. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe to Rail Australia and I'll see you on the next one.